Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your love and support. I truly do appreciate it. Welcome to those of you guys that are new. This is going to be um, a love reading for Twin Flames. Um, you can take it even if you know, you're know you not um, looking for a Twin Flame reading. You can take it as a soulmate if it applies, but I'm, I'm just, I'm going to do it as a Twin Flame reading. Um, this will be similar to the reading you can get from my, um, from a personal reading on my site. So it's going to be like, kind of like, almost like personal, okay? So, um, two of these decks I'm using, um, Cupid's Desires, Oracle and Cupid's Desires Love Messages. They do have some sexual references, so if you, um, are uh, offended by that, this will be a good time to click off, okay? So, um, there will be a second part to this. I will, I will go, um into the extended i'll let you know the first uh, part of this um in just a second everything that you need to know if you guys are new over here is listed below the video uh, where it says um more you just click on that and you'll get access to well not access but you you'll um see all my uh instagram tiktok links uh, my site my etsy shop you know where to book all that different stuff um if you like to uh, help out further um, there are links to be able to donate or get from my, um, Amazon and all that good stuff down there below. Okay. So the extended, like I mentioned, just click on the join button below the video here and you'll get access to this extended and all the extended that I, um, are posting plus additional perks. So just click on that if you want to know more about it. Okay. So the first part of this is I'm going to get, um, both of the masculine and the feminine's energy towards each other in this reading, okay? And then I'm going to see what's going on in the situation, the current challenge, you know, um, how they're really feeling, um, and um, what is uh, each other want from each other and what's coming in for the connection, okay? So that's going to be the first part of the reading. And then on the second part, I'm going to see what's going on. Whoops. Okay, and shuffle. <laughs> then the uh, second part, I'm going to see what's going on and uh, both of you guys, outer world, inner world, you know, how you're seeing each other, what's shifting for this connection, and what's the action uh, outcome, okay? As well as some additional uh, messages, okay? So let's go ahead and um, get started on the first part of this, and then I'll shuffle the rest of the cards as we go along, okay? All right, so... Let me take this so I know that I shuffle that one. All right. So the masculine's general energy uh, towards the feminine at this time is holding back. Okay. Partial effort, not 100% about what he wants to do. He's really not giving all to this connection. It's like he wants to give somebody is holding back from putting in a full effort here. And then this, and this is the reason why it's like hookup. I don't want anything serious right now. It's just sex. So the masculine that's coming through, if this isn't resonating for you at this point, this probably is not your reading. Okay. So like I said, just take it how it resonates. So this is somebody, uh, the reason why they're doing it is, is they're holding back. They get, the energy can also be flipped. So they maybe feel like you're holding back from them because you feel that that's all they want. Uh, from from you whether it's true or not I feel like the majority that's coming through this is their their energy okay so that is their energy I don't know if I'm going to be able to lay these up here like I sometimes do but let's see all right they're there for now <laughs> all right so let's get the feminine's energy performance putting on a show crazy you drive you um you drive me wild so I feel, okay, there's something about this drive here. Okay, so the feminine could be wanting to drive towards the masculine or she might be feeling that um, the masculine is wanting to drive to come see her. Maybe she feel that this masculine is, uh, is kind of crazy, putting on a show, putting on a, like a performance for other people. And it could be causing the feminine to feel like a little bit crazy right now. That's kind of what I'm getting. Now, this also could be the feminine feeling this way, uh, feeling like this masculine is just... You know, just putting on a show, not really revealing his um, true feelings. And as a result, it's making her feel, you know, like a little crazy, a little wild over the whole situation. Okay. Um, 
the feminine could be liking like sports cars, maybe have a red car, or maybe it's the masculine that has a red car, but there's something about driving here with the car and the drive here, both here, okay? All right, so let's put these right here, and they're probably not going to stay, but anyways, we're going to stick them there for now. Okay, I'm going to move these over because we're going to go into the next part of this. I'm just going to trying to get organized because I'm using all of my decks here uh, plus some tarot and I don't know what I did with my other deck hold on oh here it is there because there's like one more deck I need for here all right so this is the island time wellness love oracle cards all right let me shuffle this once here All right, so now we're going to go ahead and see what's the current situation between the masculine and the feminine at this time. All right, so I already shuffled these and these. And now I just need to shuffle this one. This is the Edgar Allan Poe Tarot. This is my More Situations Oracle, and this is the Light Seers Tarot. So I'll be using um, the masculine's energy on this side, and I'll be putting the feminine on this side, okay? To see how their energies uh, match up, okay? But right now, I'm just looking at the situation. All right. and one last one this is my uh twin flame messages as well so, so one more card and i'm gonna just pull off the top okay all right so all righty here hope you guys are doing good i'm trying to Stay chill and calm under every circumstance. <laughs> I don't know why I needed to say that. But anyways, current situation between the masculine and the feminine at this time. So we have reunited twin flames finally back together. The magician. Six of wands. Your smile lights up my world. And cassette. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Okay. So, what I'm getting here in the current situation between the two of you guys. Maybe you guys came back together. You wanted to, like, um, you know, use all of your, your tools. Or you wanted your twin to use all their tools to manifest a victory. Um, because the happiness between the two of you guys is, you know, um, you feel it's obvious. They show it, you show it. But for some reason, there's outdated thinking here. Okay. And you could be replaying the situation over and over and in the, um, your head as well as your twin. Overplaying how when you guys came back together to try to manifest a victory and everything uh, seemed good. But... What affected this is somebody was outdated because they just really couldn't um, let go of whatever conditions that uh, changed the, the uh, dynamic between the twins. Um, and now it's being re replayed over and over, okay, uh, about wanting this to happen or that it happened. Now, um, some of you guys could be fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. <clears throat> doesn't necessarily have to mean so. Number six can be significant. Um, this also could be wanting some type of recognition. I, that's why I'm feeling that somebody wanted someone to recognize something when you guys got back together or are wanting that. But for some reason, it didn't happen because somebody just, um, you know, are really stuck in kind of like the past, Okay. And some of you guys should just replay in whatever took place in the in the past, okay? So that's what I'm getting in the current situation. So I'm just going to move this over here in case I need to refer to it. All right. 
So let me move this, this card over here. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and see what is the um, current challenge between um, the connection um, at this time. Okay, so I'm going to use um, my Mystery House Oracle, and then um, I'm going to get from both the masculine and the feminist point of view. So this whole complete reading is basically like the personal twin flame in depth reading that I offer on my site. Like I said, you can use it for twin flame or you use it for soulmate uh, connection. I also have just like a regular basic. So this is the longer version. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what is the current challenge uh, on the masculine's part. And then we'll go from the um, feminine. And also, uh, yeah. Let's just start there. All right. So the current challenge on the Muslims part, we have drunken goblin spilling the tea, people's business. So either he spilled the tea um, about other people's business or you did or somebody spilled the tea about the both of you guys. OK, so let's see what this had to do with. Seven of Wands, okay, this was some kind of like defensive energy. So what I'm getting here is. The challenge is either someone needs to talk. Also, someone could have a drinking problem. Maybe they uh, talk a lot when they start to drink. So this is a, a challenge. Um, but it caused a lot of obstacles because the Seven of Wands is a, a card of overcoming obstacles. So this is a, a challenge. Is to either somebody is trying to block or they feel they need to block because they feel like someone's going to... um. Someone's going to tell their business. I'm going to put this light down a little bit. It's too much in my eyes. <laughs> um, so they feel like they want to block all this stuff. Okay. So on the feminine's part, her challenge is we have magic, uh, chemistry, the craft, along with... King of Wands. Okay. So the feminine uh, challenge right now, um, this could be a, a lot of fire energy is coming in. So it could be a lot of you guys are uh, fire signs or this is like there's a lot of passion um, involved in this connection. So the challenge is on the feminine's part is either to either take action to manifest connection with this or she just feels like the masculine is just too much in his pride and ego and this could be causing her um a challenge or to, like i said or the challenge is for her to take action okay because the king of wands is somebody very um attractive the feminine could also be in her masculine energy right now okay um she may be focusing on other things she may be manifesting other things and so she's just not focusing on this masculine um but I do feel like some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Leo or you're a Leo with this lion back here. Um, and if not, there's some pride and um, ego issues here of involving the connection. Okay. So let's go ahead and see how is the masculine. Um, I'm trying to see where I was at on the, this. There was one other thing I wanted to do here and I got, I got lost for a second. Hold on. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to get the, um, the tarot. So how is your person really feeling? Let me see. I was going to use a different deck, but I decided I'm going to use this one. All right. So that's the challenge. No, I changed my mind. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to use this. Let me just make sure I didn't put this card down here. Okay. Oops, I'm so sorry. <laughs> how is the masculine really feeling? And then how is the feminine really feeling? So the masculine is feeling, we have role play, dress up. So he could be wanting to um, be involved with role play. Like, you know, um, this could be also going out, dressing up, or just dressing up the situation, maybe switching up 
a roll here. So I'm going to see why this is here also. So the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like... So this masculine definitely wants to, it's like he's covering up something. That's kind of what I'm getting because this guy is dressed here, but there's also the Nine of Pentacles was a slow progress. So I feel like the role that this masculine wants to play is he just want to take things slow. He doesn't want to because if he definitely is in that energy of um, holding back, not putting in 100% effort, is because he wants to take things slow, okay? So if he's not... Um, you know, hooking ups, a lot of them are because that card did come out. Um, they are um, wanting to do this because they want things to stay like in a slow energy. This masculine could also be a, a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus with the Knight of Pentacles here. But I do feel like there's a part of him that wants to just kind of take, uh, take it slow. Okay. Um, it could be like, I'm also getting this mouse and could be wasting a lot of money. There's some additional messages I'm getting. I don't know why my eye is just starting to sting all of a sudden. I don't know if I got some lotion in my eye or I don't know what it is. I'm just hold on for a second. Got a lot of stuff going on here. All right. So how is the feminine really feeling? How is the feminine really feeling? Out of control. Okay, she feels like it's just not something that is in her hands. She feels like her hands are tied. Maybe the masculine kind of put her in this position to not be able to do anything. And that's why this is a challenge is because she would need to take action to manifest something and she's not going to do it. Okay, because maybe she's done it a lot and she's like, I'm not, I'm not going to keep on doing this. So she feels passive. She feels um, submissive here. And we have Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. So there's something about the hands too. I do feel like she would like to offer this, but she just feels like it's out of her control. Like if if this um, masculine is going to offer her something, it has to be something solid in a 3D, um, something physical. He's got to take the action. Otherwise, she's just going to keep her hands back here. She's just going to really... Um, you know, be submissive to the fact that things are just not in her control. That's how she's really feeling. Um, both of them could have some monetary situations that's going on too with the earth energy coming through. Um, that's not going to be for everybody, but I am getting that as an energy. Okay. So let's go ahead and move this up a little bit. So I'm getting fire and earth and fire and earth on both the masculine and the feminine side side so i think that a lot of you guys are fire and earth signs or that's what's in your chart so let's go ahead and see um what does the masculine want at this time okay um what is the masculine wanting so this is my uh situations oracle so let's go ahead and do this it's already longer than what i normally do it's because I'm kind of limited in my space. <laughs> um, if this is resonating with you guys um, at this time, if you could please take a moment to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell to get my latest videos. Um, and also when I go live, because I'll be doing the live chats where I will be um, doing personal uh, questions. And um, members, the first two members in the chat uh, will get a free question. And anyone else that would like a question, it'll be um, $8 um, when I do the live chats, okay, uh, to my uh, cash app. Um, I'll post about it, though, before I do it. So let's go ahead and see what exactly does the masculine want at this time. So we have karmic, a third-party relationship lesson. So either he wants to learn the hard way or he wants a, um, a karmic, um, a third-party um, at this time. Now, this could be the reason why he is in this energy of hooking up and holding back and not putting in 100% um, effort. So let's see. What is this? Oh, he wants to close a chapter on this. Okay, so he he doesn't want this. So there's a lesson here at hand. And you see there's a mouse in here looking at this castle. And it's like he wants to head towards it. So he wants to close a chapter on this karmic energy or some type of lesson or a third party that may be 
um, preventing the masculine and the feminine um, from coming together. Okay, so 21, that can be significant. So that's a good energy. All right, so I was like, you want some karmic? Okay, but with the world card, we have closing chapter. All right, so what is the feminine um, one at this time? Drastic, extreme, harsh, cut off. So she wants something drastic to happen. So she wants this masculine to either do something extreme or she is gonna do something drastic like harsh or cut off this masculine. So let's go ahead and see. Yeah, so we have the star. So Aquarius, some of you uh, feminists could be an Aquarius or dealing with one. 17 could be significant. It's also an eight. This is a wish, okay? So I feel like the feminine either is wanting this wish. She's, you know, drastically wanting this wish to come true or she's in a process of healing. And so she's cutting off the possibility of this happening, okay? Because maybe the masculine was harsh in the past or, you know, something extreme um, happened, okay? Um, some of you guys might have a black car and a red car because we had the red car come through. Now we have black here and um, yeah. Someone likes Audis. I like Audi is the reason why I put that in there, but when that comes through, that's someone likes Audi. Okay, so um, yeah, that's what she wants. Okay, all right. So um, let's go ahead now and see what's coming in uh, for this connection. Okay, and then like I said, I'm going to take this over to the extended, and then extend it. I'm going to see um, what's going on in the outer world in the inner world with both of you guys and then um how you see each other what's shifting in this connection you know like for the good like any bad energy that will be what's changing and then what's the action or, or outcome and then i'll get some additional um messages okay so let's see what is coming in for this connection what's coming in for this connection for those of you guys that this is resonating with so we have wusa ready to snap, needing to relax. So some of you guys are either going to be ready to snap or you're going to relax. Okay. <laughs> like you're going to take a break or, or that's what's happening. You guys are on a break. So I'm going to clarify why is this here? Why is the Wusa card, if I can speak here for what's coming in for this connection? So we have hammer. Yeah, so I feel like um, a lot of you guys are going to be working on it. So if you were angry, or ready to snap um, over this, that's what you're going to try to work on uh, fixing that. Um, I feel like there's rebuilding here too in, you know, getting peace between um, whatever you've experienced between this person, or there's going to be, um, you or the other person is going to try to work on their anger issues, um, or, you know, the feeling the need, like they're going to, um, snap. Okay. And then I do feel like some may try to rebuild here. Uh, but some of you guys may not want it because you got this out of control energy. You feel like there's something drastic. I feel like you, you, would like for this to happen with the star card if i cannot um stutter here i don't know what <laughs> mercury already <laughs> going but i feel like there is someone going to try to like work on this this energy of their anger issues is kind of what i'm getting okay all right you guys so that's why i'm gonna leave it um again anything that you need to know will be listed below the video description if you'd like to join the extended of this click the join button and uh, you'll get access to this and all the rest of the ones i've um, done and i will be doing okay so thank you guys for all your love and support i truly do appreciate it and you guys have a wonderful day or night whatever it is where we are till next time next video peace love and light